All right, y'all. So we bought the Andrew Luck. We plugged him in the lineup. We used the remaining 250K to fill the rest of the lineup. What I did mainly, we got a gold offensive line. Offensive lineman is all preference if you want to run block, get a guy that can run block. If you want to pass block, which I wanted to do, I got guys with high 70 pass block. Find them, they might be 2, 3, 4K each. And I was able to fill them up with a gold line. Got to grab Evan Ingram at tight end. He's got to be the budget steal of the first couple weeks in salary cap. He's the fastest tight end, and he's really cheap on cap and really cheap on coin. I might have got him for 4000 He'll play tight end for me for a while now. It's going to be a while before they put another tight end out that's fast enough to compete with him at a low cap and low coin. So we stayed budget there. We got John Brown and we got John Ross, two burners. I mean, they'll make the defense respect you. Budget players that can go ahead and, you know, not cost a lot of coin or a lot of cap, but are also fast enough and they're going to get open and they're going to make plays after they catch the ball. Defensively, the main thing I did was get my sleepers. I had another salary cap video up a couple videos ago if you want to learn about some of the best players, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to list them in the description of this too. And the two main ones immediately are Lonnie Ballantyne and TJ Green. I mean, they're not great, but they're tall, they're fast, and they had the big hitter trait, and they hit, and they catch the football. When there's a tip, they catch it. So those are two guys you can buy right now for 600 coin that can start. They'll start in my secondary. TJ Green still starts on my main team on Xbox. I'm telling you, these guys are really good. They can be on the football field. Do not be afraid of the 60 overalls and the silver card. It's not, Don't be intimidated by that. Look at their speed and their height. That's what's going to help you catch people from behind. It's going to help you get in the places where you can get interceptions. It's going to help you get to the running back when they run the ball. Obviously, when you use or somebody... <laughs> Them being tall, fast, and can hit is amazing. And that's what those dudes can do. Also, at the corner, I have two other players like that. Obviously, Obi from the Raiders, 6'4", fast, and can hit 6'4", with 86 speed. Great budget player. Like I said, this one was actually, I want to say this one was borderline. I want to say 4000 I paid for Obi because people kind of know. But like you said, look, 86 speed, 89 acceleration. Compare him to TJ Green, really similar. The players you have to have that, and honestly, if you don't spend a dime, you can have these players on your team. Between TJ Green, Lonnie Ballantyne, same thing, 86 speed, 6-3. And obviously their zone and their man is terrible. You can't even just, just block that out when you look at the players. Look at speed, height, and the big hitter trait. That's what helps you. And this, this one's not known. He's a rookie this year, but he's on the Packers. That's Josh Jones. 6-2, same thing, 88 excel, 86 speed. Big hitter trait can hit, and you know he's just another player you put on the field. So between those three giants, you got T.J. Green, Lonnie Ballantyne, Ob, and Josh Jones. Those are going to be my outside players, mostly in a six DB set, sometimes in, in a five DB set. And those are going to be players that can tackle and can you know get their hands on balls because they're tall. They're not going to be Rodney Harrison and Steve Atwater, but I didn't spend the money to get Rodney Harrison and Steve Atwater. So I'm going to find a budget. I'm going to use these players. They're going to help me. You'd be surprised. I'd rather have a Ob then have an 82 speed Reggie Nelson or something like that. That's my personal preference. Like I said, speed matters. That's what kills. So those are the four guys I'm going to use on the outside on the budget squad. I actually got Marshawn Lattimore and Ronald Darby to play the inside. Some guys that are faster can blitz, can man cover, something like that. So that's why I got those two guys. 87 speed for Darby and 88 speed for Lattimore. Lattimore should be on every salary cap, every mutt team. That 88 speed corner is rare, and he actually is physical. Got 60 plus hit power. Should definitely be on your team. Linebackers, these are the same same linebackers I have on my salary cap team. Gruger Hill, 83 speed. Hassan Reddick, let's look at this guy. I mean, 6'1, 83 speed, 18 cap. That's really a steal. And of course, Dewey McDonald, who is just pretty much the salary cap sleeper of the year so far. 84 speed at linebacker for 14 cap. I mean, that's a steal. You can have all these players for less than 4,000 coin. All three of them, Gruger Hill, Dewey McDonald, and Hassan Reddick should be your linebackers. And like I said before, Sean Weatherspoon, come, he came, I, they gave him to me. 79 speed, 10 cap, he needs to play too. I also grabbed Cassius Marsh, 85 block shed. He's on my team now. My main, These are players that I use. I mean, 85 block shed for gold is really good. So after that, the main, I probably had 200K left. So after I got the main base players that went by, I said, what can I spend my money on? You know, if I'm going to have a weak team, 
defensively, which I do, my main thing, I don't want to get ran on. So I, what I did was I bolstered up my defensive line. I grabbed Daniel Hunter, who was probably 40K, and that's cool. But he has 83 block shed, 81 speed. 80, 85 finesse move, so he's going to be a pass rusher. He's going to stop the run. That helped me a lot. And I also grabbed Timmy Jernigan, Philadelphia Eagle. Great. He's another one with high block set, 80 block set. That's past that 80 threshold. It's also 65 speed for a D tackle. Isn't very isn't very slow for a D tackle. So he's going to play D tackle for me with Daniel Hunter and Cassius Marsh. I feel like all 80 plus block set will do good, and I'll make it harder for somebody to run on me. Where if you have a, a weak defense, at least make them pass kind of make the offense one-dimensional because it's harder to get all the players, all the Deion Sanders, all the Jalen Ramsey, Patrick Petersons to stop the pass than it is to just get some guys that will block shit and stop the run. Then I probably had a little bit of money left, and I said, what's the two things I need offensively? One, I need a reliable wide receiver that's going to get open and catch the ball. Obviously, I had my burners in John Ross and John Brown, so I paid the 80 k and got DeAndre Hopkins. Somebody that's going to get open, good speed, catch the ball, that's something I need in my offense, and I think every offense needs. Somebody with 80 catching traffic, 80 route running, 86 speed is fast enough. Good 6-1, he, so he can go get the ball from time to time. But I needed that to go along with my two burners. And then, of course, I think, I mean, Tevin Coleman has got to be the best running back. But not only in salary cap, but in the game. They have 88 speed. He's really been a stud so far. So that instead of getting Leonard Fournette, I said, let me upgrade a little bit. Get Tevin Coleman. So I have a workhorse running back. I have a reliable wide receiver with two burners. Like I said, most of my money went to my quarterback, so he's reliable. So my offense, I feel good. I have a great tight end, two burners, reliable receiver, and a reliable workhorse running back. So offensively, I feel like I should not get stopped. I feel like obviously I could get better, but for what I spent, I'm happy with the offense. Defensively, I feel like we're going to stop the run. We're going to tackle people, and you know we're going to get our hands on some footballs, hopefully make some turnovers and make some plays. we got great speed, great size. I'm going to make some plays. So I'm going to take this team. I'm going to go ahead and qualify for the weekend league right now because I probably got a couple hours left. Then I'm going to go ahead and try to grind to the top 100 and salary cap on PlayStation because I'm still entrenched in number one on Xbox. I'm not going to really play on Xbox until I get moved out probably to top five or until they tell me there's an incentive to be number one on the leaderboards. So right now I'm going to grind on PS4 so y'all can check me out. My PSN is dub.w, the same as it is on Xbox, gamertag dub.w. If you want to find out more about what I'm going to do with this team, how far I'm going to grind with them, please hit the like button, hit the sub button. I'll drop more videos about it. And, of course, follow me on all the social media so I'm out of here.